straighten it up. Perfect. That is so good. Oh my gosh. You did it, man. Oh my you did gosh. It. You did Woo. it one time. You did Y'all see that? <laughs> my belly driving. Oh, you're so good, dude. I know, man. That's unbelievable. Hold on, that's, hey, that's the day to do it, too. Because you know what today is? You know what today is, fellas? Today is the top 30 day at Cherokee Lake. We got the funk off of us now, don't we, Billy? Yeah, Grand and Lake, I'm top Grand 30, Lake too. Is, yeah, you're top 30. That's the top one right there, backer downer. He's the top one backer downer. We've got the uh, Grand Lake funk all off of us now. And, you know, y'all watched the first video, first Cherokee video. You got to see me make the cut. Cut a lot of fish. If you haven't seen that, obviously, you need to check it out. And uh, this is top 30, guys. Check it out. 30 anglers left in this tournament. It's time to get the boat in the water. It's time to go give Andrew some uh, pep talk because he's gonna, he might win this thing. If not, I'm gonna try to sneak in there behind him and maybe maybe pull it off. Look at that, guys. There's 30 of us right there. So I'll break it down. For anybody that's watching this video has no idea what the heck FLW tournament fishing is about, this is the top 30 day. Right here we have Andrew Upshaw. He rooms with us. Uh, he's leading the tournament right now. He's been leading it since day one. 18 and a half pounds, 18 yesterday, leading by two pounds. He's got a real opportunity, dude. This could be, this could I'm be. feeling it, I'm feeling it, feeling it. I just, I'm just ready to go set the hook. I don't know about you, <laughs> I'm just ready. Like, that's all I could think about last night. I was like, I just wanna go set the hook for the first time tomorrow, yeah. and I'll be good. <laughs> So it was top 30. Uh, they started with 165 anglers. They've cut it down after two days of fishing to the top 30. And then today they'll cut it down to the top 10. So my goal is to make the top 10. And uh, we'll have some fun with this. So. Heck yeah. I would like to get my rank on first though. Yeah, you had not done that yet. That's not good. <laughs> All right, I'll see you over there. All right, I need the official weather bill. Yeah. Official weather for today is 59 degrees at 7 a.m. 60, 63, 65, 68, 69, 70, 72, 72, 72. That's really not that warm today. 72? 68. Dude, 72. 72. You got to realize, man, 72 is cold for me. See, anywhere below 70 is almost not flip flop weather. <clears throat> All right, guys. Let's get this thing started. Gonna stay in here for like an hour this morning. I think we're gonna catch a crap out of them. It's gonna be fun. I just want to do something different than pitching that worm around those rocks. I've been doing that for two days. I'm tired of it. <laughs> My back hurts from just staying in the same position. Oh, look at that beautiful rainbow. Check that out. I don't know if y'all can see that beautiful rainbow right here, dead center on our spot. <laughs> just gotta find a little wad of them. They'll be wadded up somewhere, right, right, right along here somewhere. There's a couple little brush piles around this next little bay. There's two, or th two of them, three of them like that. All's well that ends well, right? Exactly. <laughs> I might have found them.
Yep. That's a, that's a new fish. That's not a release fish. Yeah. Two and a quarter. Just bite. I don't even know if he's 15. That's not a release fish either. Bad luck to throw back the keeper. It's 15. Pound, pound three quarters. Probably should have kept that one. I think that one over here is almost a four pounder. It was a big one. This one here was three. And that one was three and three quarters to four. There he is. That's not him. That's a male. Yeah, that's not even close to him. The female's in there still. Got it. Get out of the rock. Get out of the rock. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Oh my gosh. Why are you doing that? Oh. 
That's the one. I got him. He was down in that rock. And they are everywhere in there. Yeah, he's not going to be bigger than that one, but I just don't know. Yep, one tent. So guys, there's Andrew right there. Hopefully he's got a big bag. We're all kind of fishing the same stuff. I saw him call earlier, so I know he's got fish. And based on the way they're biting right now, I made a mistake by going to the release fish area because they're chewing. My. God. God. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. He's gonna get, break me in the dang rock. Why can't I get him over here? Get in the net, dude. God. And I gotta take a break while I'm fighting him. Dang things wear me out. He went over a rock and everything. He was, he was crazy. Yeah, that's a three pounder. Helps by a pound. Three, four. Three, four. Oh, golly, dude. Oh my gosh. It's a big one. You gotta be kidding me with these things. We need co-anglers again. We need co-anglers again so they can help net fish. Thought he's bigger than that. I mean, he fought like crazy. He's not even gonna help me that much. He'll help me some. He's probably a 210, 28, and 3 8. I thought that was a giant. When I hit him, dude, I couldn't stop him. Things are making me look silly. Hopefully Andrew's got a big old bag. Here he comes. He's going awful slow. I think he's got about, what do you think? 18 and a quarter. What do you got? About 16. Nice. How are you doing? Uh, 14 and a quarter or so. I hadn't caught one in a while, dude. I caught a three pounder like 45 minutes ago, and otherwise I missed a couple, and that's it. Wow, okay. Rough. So he's got 16, which is good. A little lighter than he had, but he's still got time. If he can get 18 today somehow, he's gonna protect his lead. He needs that. There he is. Maybe help. Probably not. I'll weigh him just to, just to verify. He's not bigger than 210 or 29, 23. Two, 23. Two, three. That's not the ones you need for last cast. Sure would be nice to fish another day. It's supposed to be really, really windy tomorrow, so if I do make it, it's gonna be a complete 180 on weather. I mean, we've had dead slick calm conditions warm. It's going to be 25 out of the southwest tomorrow. It's going to be a nightmare. Hope, again, hoping that Andrew caught a couple of big ones late to keep the lead. Tomorrow he's going to need a little cushion to get that win.
that uh, Lake Cherokee is the place to be. The FOW Tour is the thing to see. We moved in here a week ago. This is stop number five on the FLW Tour. We've eliminated the first round of anglers. We're down to the top 30. It is moving day as the top 10 at the end of the way in today when the smoke clears and it's gonna be close. Close to Florida. He's won right at $3 million with FLW. He's a former angler of the year and a former FLW Cup champion. He's blowing up the youth movement in the sport, the international movement, and social media. Let's hear it for Scott Martins. 16-8 on day one, 15-11 yesterday had Scott in 12th place. Now to take out Austin Felix, former college champion from Minnesota, you need 15 pounds and two ounces. 15-2. Here we go, Scotty. Five today. 14 pounds, eight ounces, and we'll let it sit there. 14-8, Scott, is what you got today. Let's go talk about it, man. Oh, here we go, his third top 30 cut of the year. For Tulsa, Oklahoma, he led day one, he led day two. Let's hear for Andrew Upshaw. All right, so here we go. Comes into today in first place. Qualified for three FLW Cups in a row. To take the lead from Dylan Hayes of Arkansas, you need 13 pounds and 13 ounces. A five bass limit for Andrew Upshaw worth. Five that'll go. New leader, 16 pounds even, has got you at 52 pounds, four ounces. Back in the lead is Andrew Upshaw. I like your jersey. That's a nice jersey. Hey, you need to put Kane in the rod locker tomorrow. Then when you pull out your first spot, he can pop out, hang out all day. <laughs> they won't make him go home. All right, dude, good job. Thanks, buddy. Good job. He's leading by what, a pound seven? Pound 10. Pound 10. Ounces are important. Ounces. I finished uh, 14th. I don't know what I missed it by, but it's not going to be much. Good week. Good week. But guess what, guys? We're not going anywhere. No, the video is not over. So you thought I was about to go, hey, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and then do the BAM thing or get somebody to do the BAM. No, we're going to hang out here tomorrow. We're going to be cheering him on. What? So, video's not over. <laughs> it's pretty much just begun. We're going to get him. Hammer time. Hammer time. We gotta get a victory here. Victory! Well, there they go. Right there. Day four. Let's start right now. That's probably Andrew right there. Number one, I'm pretty sure at least. Yep.
My goodness. Jeez. That's a good one there. Oh. Yeah, that's 19 right there. I'm just messing with you. That's only three. I've only got, I got three. What do you got? Two. Two. Babies, though. I got one decent large mouth, a baby, and that one. That's a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. There's one right there by your trolling boat. Is there? It's like a two and a half. Right in that track, right in front of you. Right here or there? Right there, yeah. Okay. You mind if I catch it? I Is that that humpback one? Yeah. Oh, big one. God, you'd even think there'd be a big large moth laying up there See? in that little pocket. But this place has been fished hard for Oh, days. looky there, there's Tom Monsoor. I bet you think that we're in his back of his boat, but we're not. We're actually watching it on live. Hey Brandon, Tom Monsoor Everything that looks good is, is, good. is in third. Gray Buck is officially in first. Andrew Upshaw has now moved to second place. He's in second place right now. He just caught a four pounder. Gray Buck just caught another good one. That's a problem. So Gray Buck's like wearing him out. But nevertheless, and it looks like David Dudley and Brian Latimer are both in the action over there. So oh, oh yeah. Come on, come on. We need you to win this thing, Andrew. All right. So here's the deal, guys. I am. Uh, I'm jumping on a plane and I'm flying home. They don't even know this yet, but I, I actually booked a flight just now because storms are coming in today. The expo, we're going to take the tent down because it's going to get blown away. Uh, we're not sure how that's going to work out today with the storms. But uh, some things have popped up at home that I have to go home and take care of. Very, very important. All, all's good, by the way. But uh, it does require my personal attention, so i got to get home. And I'm going to fly home and go see my lovely wife and my kids. And uh, we're going to be cheering Andrew on along the way. But we're going to send all the boys to the weigh-in to cheer him on.
All right, guys, just wrapped up day four. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, I was a ball of nerves. I kept it together though all day. And uh, I mean, my very first cast, I caught a fish and then I caught a couple really good ones and then I just couldn't call the rest of the day. The last 30 minutes though, I pulled into a spot that I'd saved for the end of the day. I caught a three and a half and another one, almost two and a half and called out my two smallest fish. I don't know, it's gonna be close guys. This is gonna be close. All right, you're looking for 16, seven, five that go. 17 pounds, four ounces, you got the lead, wow! Jason, you gotta shake hands. How are you feeling so far? Nervous as all get out. And I would say the S word, but I don't want to have to get it bleeped. <laughs> I'd still bleep it for you. <laughs> and there's one pro left. Ray Buck with 66 pounds and 8 ounces. He's the king of the hill with one pro left. From Tulsa, Oklahoma on day one, Andrew Upshaw weighed in 18 pounds and 6 ounces, the heaviest stringer of the, of the event. Day two, 17-14. Yesterday, 16 even. In the three days, he's amassed 52 pounds and 4 ounces of Cherokee Lake Bass. We watched him all day today on FLW Live, and we know that when the show went off the air at 2 o'clock, that you needed just, you needed one or two upgrades. So the question became, when the show went off the last hour and a half, did he catch those kickers that's going to give him his first FLW Tour victory today? All right, so Gray Buck versus Andrew Upshaw. Here we go. We're going to weigh them in one at a time. Let's get it started. Gray Buck, 66 pounds, 8 ounces of Cherokee Lake Bass. Number one goes 2 pounds, 10 ounces. Can he go wire to wire? Three FLW Cups in a row for Andrew Upshaw, former Stephen F. Austin College champion. There's number three. Three fish right now that have got you at eight pounds, 13 ounces. For the win, you need 14-4. Wow, a five pass limit. It's gonna be close. Here we go. I want both of you guys to watch it with me. We're making television. Andrew Upshaw, for the win, you need 14-4. A five bass limit today. Worth 15 pounds, six ounces. Your champion is Oklahoma's Andrew Upshaw. 67 pounds and 10 ounces. Wow! On behalf of the Reds Electronics, I'd like to welcome to the stage Doug O'Hara. Wow, he gets it done! Two late calls for Andrew Upshaw. Means he is your champion here, stop number five, at Cherokee Lake. Wow! Andrew Upshaw getting it done on Championship Sunday. His son joins him on the stage for a crowning moment. Come on up here. We know who gets the money. $100,000 richer is Tulsa, Oklahoma's Andrew Upshaw. All right, man. So Y'all just saw it. Andrew won. What? So we've had Andrew win. We've had Latimer win. Scott, Scott hadn't won yet. Come on, man. Stop sucking and win. So anyway, that's it. I think we're closing this one out. This is it. Lake Chickamauga. No, Lake. Don't gonna edit that, future Brandon. Cherokee Lake. It's in the books. It's done. It's over. And for that, we thank you for subscribing. Please hit your notifications, and we'll see you next time. Bam. Just Brian. Walking his, uh, walking his baby. Look at that strut. Strut. Getting his 
walk on it. I can't just walk on it. <laughs>